Hi everyone, this is Dr. Stefan. This is a video for medical students who are wondering about percussion sounds and they're confused about the different sounds and how can they learn them? How can you learn what the right sound is? So I'm going to explain this on myself and I think that's how you should learn it yourself because before you go to your patient and try to examine them and you're a little bit confused of what everything is, you can practice on yourself and actually get a knack for these sounds. Now when you're doing percussion, first of all is to try to get a strong sound because if you don't get a strong sound, you, this won't make any sense. So the easiest way that I found to produce a strong sound when you're doing percussion is to hold your fingers together like that, right? So you can see that my fingers are a little bit whitened here, right? Because I'm holding them really tight together. And then you press, you have to press quite firmly. You put your hand on your chest, for example, but you press in quite a lot because that will allow you to, to hit the whole hand and that will create more sound. Now, when you're using this hand to, as a lever to actually produce the sound, don't use your entire hand. Just use your wrist. So you're just basically like letting your hand drop, 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 drop. And you're using potentially this finger or this finger, whatever works for you. You can hold your fingers together tightly and just use them as a little hammer. But just imagine your wrist is driving it Right? And you're just letting your hand drop. Right? And this is really important because you'll get a good sound. Right? So if you hit with one finger is usually better. That's what I found it's easier. But if you put your hand firmly on the person's chest or other body part and you percuss, you'll get a good sound. Now I aim, I tend to aim for this part right here. But you can do it anywhere because if your fingers are together and your palm is really sitting on that person's chest, it doesn't really matter where you hit, you'll get a good sound. Right, now this is the first step. Now, you may have heard that there are different types of sounds that you can hear. So, resonant, dull, stony dull, hyper resonant. Now, these may be a little bit confusing. You can think of them as a spectrum. So, hyper resonant, being the brightest sound, stony dull or dull being the, the lowest sound that you can hear. You can simulate these on your own body, going from <laughs> top to bottom. So there are many different classifications. I personally don't get too bogged down in the classifications. It will serve you well if you can identify hyper-resonant, resonant and dull. I think those three things are enough or maybe stony dull. If you have like four tones that you can recognize, I think you'll be good. So basically, let us let me stand up and I'll, I'll sit back a little bit here because I want to show you what it is. So if you're percussing over your lungs, generally you'll get resonant sounds. And that sounds like this. Okay, so that's resonance. The more air you breathe in, the tone goes up a little bit. So if you want to really hear it, you just like fill your chest with air and then percuss. Right, so that's resonance. Now, if you want to hear hyper resonance, so that's, you definitely need to percuss an organ that has a lot of air. So your tummy is the best, right? So you go here. Can you hear the difference? Okay, so resonant, hyper resonant. Okay, so that's two tones that you have in your alphabet of sounds, let's say. Now, if you want to hear dullness, usually you need to percuss over a solid organ. Easiest that I can find is the liver. So the liver usually is right here. If you put your hand just on the bottom of the rib cage, you can feel the rib cage right here. Just put your hand on top. It's a different sound, isn't it? Compared to this, or compared to this. Hyper resonant, dull, resonant. Okay? Now, if you want to hear like stony dullness or stuff that you would hear when you're, for example, percussing for the presence of fluid around the lungs, so it's a pleural effusion, that would sound quite dull. But it may not sound 
like you're percussing over the liver. It may sound even lower than that, so dullness, like full dullness. The best way to simulate that is to percuss over your leg, because that's basically just muscle, it's just a solid thing. Can you hear? It's, it's a little bit different than percussing over the liver, the lungs, or the stomach. Okay, so let's just recap that. So, resonant, hyper resonant, dull, and like stony dull. That's it. So hopefully percussion sounds a little bit clearer for you now. Now, like I said before, don't get too bogged down on the actual terminology. I know it's a little bit academic. It's good to know the academic stuff of medicine, but in real practice, if you can tell the difference between these four sounds, I think that's pretty much going to serve you really well. Hopefully that was helpful. If you have other questions that I can help with in a video, let me know.